here. Martin Dapper gets sideways. Oof, big whack in the door. Well, that was nothing to do with the other car. That here he comes. Oh, looks to the inside. Oh, oh. evasive action, I think. Oh, that's a big that's one. Big run. But see, the Armco and the tyre wall doing it. Aston, turns out it was the Camaro. On board here with Scott Maxwell. Look up ahead there. You can see a little bit of Argy Bargy, as we call as they come through the right-hander, and Anthony Mantella just gets into the side of Ashley there. And I think what happened, Justin, is I think she, he... Happened. He's going to come into shot in a moment. Oh, straight, straight on. Straight on. Didn't even turn. Oh, that's, an, that's unusual. The way he slammed the door is... Plato then, up ahead of Shannon and off the road goes Dave Newsham through the gravel into the tyres. Oh, and, and, and Alex Martin Whoa. going off. Oh, and that's a hard hit. Death running in too wide. It didn't get the car slowed down enough for the no. corner really and uh, right. just ran on wide just couldn't make the corner. Cesimo giro poco prima dei cambi pilota ma gli si insabbiava concludendo anzi tempo la gara. Very best drivers to contend here. Whoa! And that was a big moment and it's got even worse as round goes the Bentley. Jeffrey looks to get through as well and Matt Neal has made a mistake and Jason Plato takes over the race lead and there's contact Tom Ingram gets fired around Oh, and another car sliding out, looks like it's going to contact. Arpin has a bit of a problem, Block, oh, two wheels for Ken Block, and, two, and Ken Block has rolled it, Ken Block has rolled it, the championship leader here in Global Rallycross, he's on his roof for the second year on a... Jingovic champion, now Andres Pfister on the third position, I think David Kajaya is still not losing his car, he's turning, he's turning, he's turning, pilot who is standing on BMW, but it's not, it's not Kajaya, it was France. The odds for the team, it's even worse, so... Uh... I feel a bit ashamed, but there was no way to, to avoid it. It's quite, it's okay. And here is the 76 Honda Civic and the 173 BMW of Rule Center Racing getting together. Race control. Cops on lap one. The resulting contact brought out the safety car, which settled things down. In the lap, this happened. P.G. Anderson, Val, Balmanis all together. Balmanis. Mayor Melnoff and Raquel Me on row two. Walkinshaw and Simkoviak on row three. There is the start, and the race begins. Down towards turn one. A lot of movement in the middle of the pack. Oh, and into the wall. That's the Brazilian BMW. And spinning in front of the pack. Christopher Meese slams on the brakes. Both the BMWs are spinning, and both Attila Abru and Caca Bueno are going to be. Ah, ouais, d'accord. Il a tapé le coin du mur. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Atem Markelov, on l'a vu. Non, le pneu, visiblement, qui ne, qui ne touche personne. Tokinger, donc le pilote euh, philippin. Et alors, Jordan King, qui... il a fait un tout droit. Ah, Jordan King, énorme impact ouais. de Jordan King. Deux fans. Oui. En af BMS farejerne har stået af ind i muren ret kraftigt den dag, og jeg tvivler på, at den der bil kommer ud og kører igen. Og rygtet i pitten er, at det er gearkassen. Early Bobby Cassidy that sneaks into the lead of the race and then there's some contact a bit further back. Two, but in a different order now. George Russell still behind them in third place. The wheel banging there, running out wide. That's it's going to be Nick Cassidy that leads the race. And I reckon Ralph Verron is going to get through to second place. Then there's contact, a wheel car up on two wheels. Two. It was lively on the way to the first corner. That's Gunther, got sucked into it. A bit of locking up. Ben Barney Coat clips over the curbs. The car that went up onto two wheels was the number 22 machine of Joel Erickson. So I thought it was the motor park car, and it was. Points that you're on at the start of the race. Oh, Ralph Aron is in line, and what happened? The tire came off. That's what caused the spin by the looks of things. Now he was back. Donald King machine just going a little bit wide and getting absolutely nailed by Alex Asborn in the Pat Valor, particularly Valerie Porsche. Both ending up in the tyres at Forest Elbow. Big damage to the Porsche, both the radiators and the front suspension. The problem this time for Dome number 16. It is a very unhandsomeable place to set it on. The car is still to flip over. And he is good. In this uh, race, if you were so surprised to say that, 2.20. So, oh no, we've got driving out here at Griffith's Bed. One car going around and will just collect the tyres there on the left hand side. But, uh, uh, for... but it's actually going to be Stephen Lacey leading. Oh, oh Terry by Hoots actually been hit by Jim Policina and has rotated the car around. And it looks like Ambrosio has also been uh, had to pull up on the side. And 
wasn't, wasn't able to get past. Yeah, it looks like Terry cut, cut across. Performance U.S. Nationals not just limited to the NHRA Mellow Yellow Drag Racing Series. This is Florida's Tim Tindall in round one action of Pro Mod. Gets the car out of shape, climbs the wall, then gets shot airborne before ending in a twisted, mangled crash at the end. All I can say is I'm thankful that he walked away from this. We were all holding our breath because it was a violent crash after getting it completely sideways, limited downforce, it just slid right into that wall.